Now, a new rail safety report reveals operational occurrences have resulted in over 300 fatalities, this in the past year alone. These occurrences include derailment, collisions and level crossing accidents. And the report was presented by Transport Minister Figile Mbalula. ENCS Aisha Ishmael joins us now to give us more details. Now, Aisha, the details coming out of that report paint a very gloomy picture about safety in our trains. When can South Africans expect safer and reliable trains? Well, the minister spoke very openly and frankly about the state of the trains in South Africa. And I asked him the question, I asked him how safe our trains are. And he said that our trains are not safe at all. But he has a plan, he says. He is going to fix the rail system. He is going to make it safer. And he's going to get the trains to run on time. And he also acknowledged that the old stock needs to be replaced. And he says that already they have procured new trains. And these trains are now in the process of being tested to see whether they are approved and whether they will be able to run on time and how safe they are. But he also talked about security. And in terms of security, he said that they will be employing new rail police officers and these rail police officers will be posted on the stations and in trains to ensure that commuters are safe on the trains. Now, with that being said and done, Aisha, we've seen trains also being vandalized and torched. What has been done about this? Well, when I also again asked the minister about this, he did say that it is of great concern to them the fact that the trains are being vandalized. We've seen trains being set alight and also we've seen cables being stolen from the railway tracks. And of course, this all affects the, the smooth running of the rail service. And he did not mince his words. He did not hide the fact when I asked him about who he thinks is behind the arson and the vandalizing of trains. So let's just listen to what he had to say about who he believes the culprits are. Well, uh, we're analyzing the modus operandi and we can see that uh, the modus operandi uh, dictates to us that uh, it is uh, people with vested financial interest. Uh, among others, but uh, it is not conclusive in a sense uh, because why will a criminal burn down a train? You know, what is the financial value you gain out of burning a train? And then uh, they then shift and say it is the communities. We talk to the communities, they say, no, upgrade the trains, we don't want to burn the trains. Uh, but uh, those with vested financial interest could be behind this because they stand to gain. If we burn trains, we must buy new. And then um, if we ban trains, we'll need security. It produces a demand, you know, and then that demand becomes security. All right, that was ENC's Aisha Ishmael.